I'm Alana Rocha for the Texas Tribune. What weekend? 8 I, 0 nay, Senate Bill 5 will be reported favorably. It's impossible to, to get this annexation Senate reversed. Business and Commerce Committee will come to order. Sir Estes? Here. Sir Nichols? It's, uh, Here. Senate Bill 8, also known as the Texas Pro-Life Insurance it do Act. It to protect unborn life. It just simply makes it harder for people to afford their abortions. More than a dozen bills passed out of Texas Senate committees on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Lawmakers listened to hours of testimony on measures addressing the items on Governor Greg Abbott's special session agenda. Despite heavy opposition to many of the issues, including the proposed requirement that women obtain additional insurance coverage for elective abortions, and other legislation that would put more money toward the teacher retirement system, require districts to pay for teacher pay raises, and the so-called bathroom bill to restrict transgender Texans' bathroom use, well, they all passed and are set to be taken up on the Senate floor this week. The Senate State Affairs Committee heard 10 hours alone on Friday on Senate Bill 3, the bathroom bill. Dozens of people in favor, hundreds against. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has said he wants all bills passed out of the Senate by the end of this week. Meanwhile, in the House... The only bill on the calendar in that chamber for Monday is one of the must-pass sunset bills to keep key state agencies operating beyond September 1st. The companion measure, House Bill 2, which would keep those agencies funded, won't be considered in committee till Tuesday. Our reporters will be in the chambers churning updates on all of the happenings. Keep up with our coverage online at texastribune.org. I'm Alana Rocha in Austin.